Hello guys, in this video we're gonna see how to lazy load standalone components in Angular. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start coding. Okay, here I have a structure and the project that we used in the previous video, that is standalone components in Angular. So if you haven't watched that video, you can pause this one and go to a link, I'll put it somewhere on the screen and watch that video or download the GitHub repository with the project from that video and continue with this one. Okay, what we have here. Uh, I, after I, I downloaded this uh, project uh, from GitHub, cloned it actually, I just uh, installed the NPM modules and we have uh, this uh, structure and these components here. So uh, what do we have to do? Uh, before doing anything, uh, I'll just uh, go here and duplicate this, uh, this actually uh, rename this standalone copy here because of the name and just to be able to track it better. So standalone two, okay, this will cause some issues. And also uh, as we're going, uh, we're going to import these components in our app routing module uh, to be lazy loaded, uh, we have to remove from app modules these components as well from imports. So as in the previous video, we have imported them. And uh, now we are removing them as we don't want to have them like this here. So uh, I'll just uh, rebuild up. Don't worry about this uh, lint here. And now after doing this, uh, we have nothing but uh, default components. And uh, I'm gonna just run this, run this application here by running npm uh, ng s dash dash o. That means that uh, this will compile our application and open it in our default browser. So this is uh, just a shorthand of uh, ng uh, s and the flag open. So let me see what's going on here. Okay, field on compile, absolute. Okay, now uh, the issue we have here is uh, okay because we haven't removed this app standalone component from uh, app component here. Okay, I'll remove these two from here. Hit save. Let us see, it's compiled successfully. So just reload. We have nothing here. So uh, right now, here in this uh, app component, I'll just add a title. Okay, lazy load components. Okay, it works here. So uh, what we have to do right now here, uh, we have to go to app routing module here and into that app routing module here, uh, we have to do the following. Uh, we have to uh, change the, uh, actually to add our components here. So uh, here I'm gonna add an object and add path what is empty path match what's going on Let's see path match okay full and redirection so right right direct right direct to home our home component will be, I'll just duplicate this. We don't need this here. And I'll just add component. Component. Okay, component. Okay, and it's going to be a default component that we have. Default component here. So, and this is it for now. Let me save this and check our website. Okay, lazy load components. And uh, now we have just, uh, sorry, don't forget to add home here. Still not working. So let's see what's going on. It is redirection, redirecting, but let me see. Uh -huh. We haven't added router outlet. Okay, router outlet, hit save, and we now see that this uh, default component works. 
So this is a basic setup that you would do uh, without uh, these standalone components. And the next steps are uh, important for this. So what we have to do, we have to add another path here and we'll see path and our, let's say, standalone. So th this is a path for, the, uh, for this uh, standalone component here. So uh, call it standalone and we'll see load component. And here we're gonna add an arrow function and import. And into this import, we have to do the following. Just find the component you wanna import slash standalone component. And then get our uh, component here, sorry. Standalone component here, okay. After formatting, we have this. Okay, this is the first step. So uh, I'm just going to duplicate this and add standalone2 from standalone2 and standalone2 component. Okay, we have these. So uh, usually you would uh, import these components here, but uh, as we are lazy loading them, uh, we are importing them this way and from these paths here. So you don't have to uh, add them here or if you're editing uh, existing components, just uh, remove them here. Uh, also to mention, uh, these uh, uh, lazy loading uh, these uh, components, actually standalone components, is just going to work if the components are standalone. So uh, just go back to this uh, app component here and I'm gonna add a few links here. So let's say, uh, router link and path is gonna be just this actually home and uh, we're gonna add here let's say home and I'll just duplicate this one and just rename it to standalone and standalone 2 standalone 2 okay here is, and now standalone. Okay, now we have this setup here. So let us check this here. Okay, we have a default home, we have standalone and standalone two. Standalone is not mapped, so we're gonna see what's going on here. In the app routing module, standalone, standalone two, standalone, standalone two component. Let's see, standalone. Uh -huh. There's a typo. Okay. Standalone works, standalone two works, and home, or actually default works. So I'll just reload this. Now uh, go to our inspector, go to network tab here, and here, take a look at uh, these responses here. I'll just reload this, and we see everything here. After clearing this and hitting standalone, we can see that our standalone component has been loaded lazily. So it's not actually loaded uh, when we open our website, uh, and it is just loaded when we just uh, hit the, this uh, uh, router link here. So if you click on this standalone tool, you can see standalone 2 has been loaded. Okay, they are loaded and we don't have to load them again. Hit home and that's it. So uh, basically that's it uh, when it comes to lazy loading these uh, st standalone components here. And this is really, really important uh, to know and to use uh, as uh, this is really performance optimization of our components. So actually we don't have to uh, throw everything to our user before uh, a user clicks. Uh, to any of our routes and uh, then we are going to allow these components so uh, if you like the video please like share or subscribe uh, and uh, see you in the next one thanks for watching